Another day, another story. 1. April 6, 1929, search for Planet X begins. In 1902 astronomer Percival Lowell noted that the orbits of comets seemed to indicate that there was a planet beyond Neptune. Lowell had begun a search for the mysterious planet at his observatory in Arizona in 1905. He died in 1916 and willed most of his estate to the observatory. Welcome to Targo Eminent Channel. However, his wife, Constance, contested the will, and the search for Planet X was put on hold until 1927, when the litigation was resolved in Lowell Observatory's favor. A new telescope was built especially for the search, which began with newly hired Lowell Observatory assistant Clyde Tombaugh exposing the first photographic plates of the newly revived search. 2. February 18, 1930, Pluto discovered. Figure 59, the discovery of Pluto. Pluto, denoted here by the arrows, was revealed to astronomer Clyde Tombaugh through its movement between January 23, 1930, and January 29, 1930, the dates on which the left and right photographs, respectively, were taken. Pluto, denoted here by the arrows, was revealed to its discoverer, astronomer Clyde Tombaugh, through its movement between January 23, 1930, and January 29, 1930, the dates on which the first and second photographs, respectively, were taken. Tombaugh took many photographs of the region of the sky where Lowell had predicted Planet X would be. He compared photos taken days apart by using a blink comparator, which superimposed the images of the two plates and blinked rapidly between them. Stars would remain stationary, but a planet would move between the time the photos were taken, and the rapid blinking of the comparator would make it rapidly move back and forth. 3. March 14, 1930, Pluto gets its name. Venetia Fair, 1918-2000. 11-year-old Venetia Burney suggested the name Pluto in 1930 for newly identified planet located beyond Neptune. The discovery of Pluto was announced on March 13, 1930. The news traveled all over the world. The next day Falconer Madan, who had been the head of the Bodleian Library at the University of Oxford, read the news at breakfast to his daughter, Ethel Burney, and her 11-year-old daughter, Venetia, later Venetia Fair. Venetia knew her mythology and suggested Pluto, the Roman god of the underworld. Madan loved the name and contacted his friend, astronomer Herbert Hall Turner, who contacted Lowell University. Many other names had been suggested, such as Minerva and Persephone, but Tom Ball and the other Lowell astronomers selected Pluto, which had Percival Lowell's initials as its first two letters. 4. June 22, 1978, Karen discovered. Pluto, center, and Charon, lower left, as observed by the European Space Agency's faint object camera aboard the Hubble Space Telescope. Pluto, center, and Charon, lower left, as observed by the European Space Agency's faint object camera aboard the Hubble Space Telescope. From National Aeronautics and Space Administration slash European Space Agency. Pluto had seemed to be alone at the edge of the solar system, but U.S. Naval Observatory astronomers James Christie and Robert Harrington noticed that images they had taken of Pluto had a bump. They looked at earlier images of Pluto and noticed that the bump moved around Pluto with a period of 6.4 days. Pluto had a moon. Charon, with a diameter of about 1,208 kilometers, 751 miles, is half as big as Pluto, 2,370 kilometers, 1,470 miles. 5. February 7, 1979, Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit. Full disk color image of Neptune, from Voyager 2. This picture was produced from the last whole planet images taken through the green and orange filters on the Voyager 2 narrow angle camera. Neptune the spacecraft Voyager 2 flew for 12 years before it got close enough to Neptune to send a clear photograph back to Earth. The planet's surface appears to be smooth because it is made of gas. Most planets have a roughly circular orbit, but Pluto's is more stretched out like an ellipse. Pluto's orbit has a higher eccentricity than the other planets' orbits. A circle has an eccentricity of zero. 
Pluto, however, has an eccentricity of 0.251, which means that its orbit crosses that of Neptune, making that planet farther from the Sun from February 7, 1979, until February 11, 1999. 6. May 15, 2005, Nix and Hydra discovered. Pluto and its moons Charon, Nix, and Hydra. Hubble Space Telescope. Pluto and three of its moons, Charon, Nix, and Hydra, as observed by the Hubble Space Telescope. Astronomers using the Hubble Space Telescope discovered these two moons. Nix and Hydra are small and elongated, both are about 55 kilometers, 35 miles, long, and Hydra is the thicker of the two, 34 kilometers, 21 miles, across. These two moons wobble chaotically because they orbit in the constantly changing gravitational field of Pluto and Charon, which rotate around each other. The direction in which their rotational poles point changes drastically. Hubble was also used to find two other moons, Kerberos in 2011 and Styx in 2012. 7. January 19, 2006, New Horizons launched. New Horizons spacecraft launched aboard an Atlas V rocket from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida, January 19, 2006. Liftoff of the New Horizons spacecraft aboard an Atlas V rocket from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida, January 19, 2006. To explore the pluto charon system, NASA designed the small New Horizons probe and put it on one of the largest rockets, the Atlas V. When it left Earth, New Horizons was the fastest spacecraft ever, zooming to the end of the solar system at a speed of more than 58,000 kilometers, 36,000 miles, per hour. With the exploration of Pluto, NASA probes would have visited every planet, but before New Horizons even got past Jupiter. 8. August 24, 2006, Pluto demoted to dwarf planet. Image of NASA's Dawn spacecraft of dwarf planet Sears on February 19, 2015 from a distance of nearly 29,000 miles, 46,000 kilometers. It shows that the brightest spot on Sears has a dimmer companion, which apparently lies in the same basin. The dwarf planet Sears in a photograph taken by NASA's Dawn spacecraft on February 19, 2015, from a distance of nearly 46,000 kilometers, 29,000 miles. It shows that the brightest spot on Sears has a dimmer companion, which apparently lies in the same basin. Pluto was always an oddity among the planets. It wasn't small, rocky, and close to the sun like the terrestrial planets. It wasn't a large ball of gas like the gas giants. For decades it was unique, until, in the early 21st century, bodies the size of Pluto and Charon were discovered at the edge of the solar system in the Kuiper Belt. One of them, Eris, was even larger than Pluto. 9. July 14, 2015, New Horizons flies by Pluto. One of the final images taken before New Horizons made its closest approach to Pluto on 15 July 2015. After nine and a half years of travel, New Horizons finally reached its destination. As it got closer, it saw unusual features on Pluto, such as a dark region near the equator dubbed the Whale and a lighter heart-shaped region. On this day New Horizons came within 12,500 kilometers, 7,750 miles, of Pluto and 28,800 kilometers, 17,900 miles, of Charon. New Horizons was expected to continue over the following months to send information from its encounter back to Earth and get ready for its next destination, one of three possible Kuiper Belt objects that it will encounter in 2018 or 2019. 10. March 23, 2178, 1. Plutonian, year since discovery. Pluto. The changing faces of Pluto. Most detailed view to date of the entire surface of the dwarf planet Pluto, as constructed from multiple NASA Hubble Space Telescope photographs taken from 2002 to 2003. Pluto is so far from the Sun that it takes a little more than 248 Earth years to complete one orbit. Thanks for watching request you to subscribe the channel.